At the White House, Karine Jean-Pierre gave her first press conference since the impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden was announced, and she was adamant, full denial, no evidence of any wrongdoing. But then some reporters actually asked her about some of the evidence that has been brought up. Let's check in on her response to those facts. Will the president cooperate fully now that Speaker McCarthy has pulled the trigger on an impeachment inquiry? So um, I'm going to refer you to, uh, to my colleagues over at the counsel's office on any specifics uh, to, uh, to the inquiry. Uh, certainly not going to, uh, uh, going to speculate on, on what has been a baseless inquiry that the House Republicans uh, can't even really defend themselves. Uh, and that many House Republicans have said, they have said they couldn't support their own votes. Uh, so again, again, I'm going to refer you to my White House counsel on any specifics. On impeachment, you just mentioned House Republicans' baseless claims. How confident are you that there will be no evidence that incriminates President Biden in Hunter's business dealings as this goes forward? So let me just give a little bit of a, a lay down here, because I think it's important. Any specifics to, uh, to the inquiry, certainly I, I, I I want to say this at the top, as I said to Darlene, I'm going to refer you to my colleagues at the council's office. But I want to also want to be clear about a couple of things. You know, I just talked about Bionomics. I just talked about what the president's going to do tomorrow, really deliver a major speech, something that the American people want to hear about. What are we doing to improve their lives, work on the economy? And these are real, real issues, real priorities for Americans. Uh, and like I said, like lowering costs. But what you see Republicans uh, in Congress, right, they have uh, spent all year investigating the president. That's what they have spent all year doing and uh, have turned up with no evidence, none. He, that he did anything wrong. I mean, that is what we've heard over and over again from their almost year-long investigation. And, uh, and that's because the president didn't do anything wrong. Even, even, House, even House Republicans have said, have said, the evidence does not exist. The House Republicans have said that. To my friend in the back who just yelled at, which is incredibly inappropriate, uh, but House Republicans have said that there doesn't, there doesn't, it doesn't exist. Their own investigation have actually debunked their ridiculous attacks. And the only reason Speaker McCarthy is doing this, is doing this political stunt, and we have seen it, you all have reported, is because Majority, uh, Majority Taylor Greene has said she threatened to shut down the government. Can you imagine shutting down the government over a political stunt? And we're talking about <coughs> vital programs that American families need. And, and she said that because she wanted him to, to actually do this. And if he didn't, she would shut down the government. And you have Matt Gates as well, threatened uh, to oust him as speaker if he didn't do it. So he didn't even put up for a vote, as you all know, because he knows that even his own members weren't going to support this. So, uh, you know, that's why we call it baseless. That's why I just called it baseless, because they have said themselves that there is no ex evidence. There does not, the evidence does not exist. And this is a political stunt. But here's the thing, and I say this all the time, we look forward to working with Republicans in a bipartisan way to actually deal with issues that matter to, to Americans, real issues that matter to Americans, not this baseless effort that they have continuing to do uh, that shows no evidence. Well, given that, will the president still be able to work with House Republicans, including Speaker McCarthy, well, to avert a shutdown in a couple of weeks? I mean, look. The shutdown should not happen. That is Congress's job to avoid a shutdown. I've said over and over again here at this podium, just for the past couple of minutes, that these are vital programs that American families need. So that's their basic duty. Their basic duty is to keep the government open. We've already agreed. We've agreed. There was a bipartisan agreement on how to move forward with the budget that they voted on. And so look, they should, a deal is a deal. They should keep their word, and they should keep the government open. Go ahead, Nancy. Uh, you just brought up the lack of a vote. Does the White House view this impeachment inquiry as legitimate, given that there has not been a vote to open it? So, uh, Nancy, I appreciate the question, but I actually, from what I just laid out, Republicans have made it pretty clear just how illegitimate this is. They've made that very clear. Uh, this is a this is an a, a, entire exercise of how to do this in an illegitimate way, and again, it's a political, political stunt, uh, and it is going after the president politically, uh, not about the truth. There is no truth here, 
And uh, so we think uh, they, should, uh, they should work with us on legitimate issues, things that actually matter to the American people. And that's what they want to see. That's what the American people want to see. We're going to talk about binomics. You're going to hear from the president. Speak to that directly. In a few minutes, the president's convening his cabinet, his cancer cabinet, to talk about an issue that matters to the American people, about saving lives, what else we can do uh, to deal with cancer uh, across the country. And, you know, that's what we believe. So if you don't view it as legitimate, does that mean that the White House doesn't believe it needs to comply with requests that come as as a result of this inquiry? So look, I'm going to let the, the counsel's office, my colleagues there, speak to this directly as to what, uh, uh, when it comes to cooperating. Uh, I'm going to let them speak to that. But I've been very clear. We believe this is, uh, this. we're certainly not going to speculate on any base, on baseless accusations, right, as we have seen from, from the Republicans in the House. And so, uh, you know, again, they could not even support their own votes. They couldn't. Speaker McCarthy could not even get support uh, for this vote. And so I'm going to just leave it there. You suggested that there's no evidence to back up the Republicans' Which is true. here. I'm um, not suggesting it. That's actually a fact. If they are seeking information, <clears throat> again, that is something that the White House Counsel is going to deal with, and it's not a suggestion. It's actually an actual fact. When you have uh, Republicans saying that there is no no evidence, it doesn't exist. They have said that. I mean, again, they couldn't even put it up for a vote because they didn't have the vote. So it's not a suggestion, it's actually the fact. That's their own words that I'm repeating back. And with that, folks. Can you explain why the president interacted with so many of his son's foreign business associates? More than half of voters told CNN they believe the president was involved and he lied. You can't have a response to that, Kareem. Now, here's the White House press spokesperson using the power of that podium and that room in the West Wing of the White House by adamantly denying that the president of the United States did anything wrong, indeed going further to say that Republicans had presented no evidence to suggest that he should be impeached. Now, that's powerful, and that's using her position and the power of the White House to get that message out in a way that no one else can. But then, every time she was asked about specific instances that, that some people would say is in fact evidence of wrongdoing, she defers to the White House counsel. She says, oh, I can't talk about that here. I'm not going to comment on that here. It would be inappropriate for me to comment here at this podium. What? You can't have it both ways. You can't, you can't use the power of your position to issue a denial to the American people. But then when asked and confronted specifically about very real evidence of wrongdoing, say, no, oh, that's not my job. I, I shouldn't wade into such things. That's above this position. You should talk to the White House counsel, talk to the Justice Department, talk to Hunter Biden's lawyers, talk to the president's lawyers. No, that's not how this works. If you're ready to go out there and issue a denial on behalf of Joe Biden and claim to the American people that there's no evidence, then you need to respond when evidence is presented to you, if you're actually a spokesperson for this White House. But Karine Jean-Pierre, she just walks away.